You're listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. It's five o'clock and I'm Alice Monroe with your August update. August police are appealing for information following the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Ms. Shaw's body was discovered last night. Chief DuPont is calling the crime a violent and despicable act. Anyone with information about the murder is urged to get in touch via the department's confidential tip hotline. It's horrible, Poe. Indeed it is. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. You know why you're here, don't you? The dead girl. And this. What exactly were you thinking? You have one job. Don't get caught. Do you think you can do that this time? It's a rhetorical question. You're going to a town called August. Find Chief DuPont. He's gonna think you're someone else. This person. This is who you are now. Understood? Splendid. If someone so much as sniffs that you're different, you'll be deprecated. Deprecated. We expect you to use your ability. Just don't get caught. And never, ever change into a child. In brighter news, August resident Mia French is celebrating the return of her missing pooch, Barley. The eight-month-old Basset Hound puppy was found outside Daryl's chicken and ribs. And that's five o'clock with Poe and Monroe. I'm Violet. Welcome to the guest house. There are some rules. In particular, no shoes in the guest house. The carpet's priceless. Now, how long are you staying for? That's fine. It's yours for as long as you want it. There's not been many visitors of late. Perhaps the murder will bring some tourists in. It's just you and some tarot readers at the moment. It's deathly quiet. Yes, the murder. You haven't spoken to the chief yet, have you? Chief Dupont. He's the one who booked the room for you. You look lost. You should probably go and speak to the chief. Your room is just down the hall, last on the left. It has its own back door. The chief said that's the way you'd like it. Just finishing. You don't believe? That's okay. Sometimes life is just a stream of coincidences. Hi, I'm Bromwyn. Pleased to meet you, Sam. If you'd like a reading. So, what's your question, Sam? <laughs> the Fool. I'm going to see a lot more of you, aren't I, Sam? But enjoy the journey. But remember, not everything is winnable. I'm in room one and that's down the hall. Rain's in two, Lexi's in three. And which room are you in, Sam? Good. We're neighbours. Just knock if you need me. Perhaps, but then they're realising they're doing it themselves. You know, Poe, I think you're actually getting a lot better at this. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, 
Obviously, once again, Alex, thank you very much for sharing this one with us. I would love to talk about this one in further detail because actually it's dealing with something that's quite emotional because the imagery of the lake, actually, it relates to your emotional state of mind. Hopefully, um, this lady can um, take something from this. Thank you for your dreams. You're listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. The Calling. Read by Jessa. From the Jessa Chin. Good, you got my message. Chief Inspector Dupont. I wasn't sure you'd come, but I suppose you're between jobs? Well, we both know that's not true. But I like it. Sam, that's your cover now. So, the job. Dorota Shaw, 21, the compass cellist, redhead. Strangled. I know who did it, but I need proof. It's the tarot readers. Because they predicted it. The older one, uh, Bronwyn, she came into my office last night talking all crazy and saying Dorota was in trouble. I did my best not to lock her up. <laughs> it all sounded crazy to me. Tarot, the spirit world, cards that move, trans-dimensional thingamajigs? To be honest, I thought she'd probably been smoking something. And that's why I didn't take it seriously. Because things, I don't have enough on her. That's where you come in. The free guest house day isn't free. I need you to work the case and report back to me. Find out things from the inside. Can you do it? Okay. I'll be telling everyone that you've been hired by the Shores because obviously local law enforcement is either too incompetent or too overworked to solve anything. That gives you a license to talk to people, but only notionally. Don't actually touch people or annoy them. You don't have any real authority, understand? But you help me out, and I'll help you. Do I have to spell it out? I'll make your problem go away, or at least sink it to the bottom of a pile of paperwork. Your old town? The problem? Come and find me when you're settled. This is Second Chance Sunday for you, Sam. Don't blow it. What do you want to know? She was a cellist, selected for a scholarship at Juilliard. It was in the local paper. I'm more of a Bon Jovi fan myself. Don't read the paper, do you? Yesterday, Monday the 9th at approximately 9pm, according to the coroner, we got a call from the mother just after 10pm. In her bedroom. She was naked, strangled. No signs of sexual activity of any kind. It was a weird scene to look at. There was one thing, but it's strictly between you and me. Dorota had a gold coin in her mouth. I'm being serious now, Sam, not a word of this. It's the one thing only the killer would know. Not much. Perhaps you should do some investigating? Ah, uh, board here, runs the local guest house. Lovely lady. Where are you going with this, Sam? What she told you? She told you she's taking pills, didn't she? Let me handle Violet. She didn't kill anyone. Go 
lost. You're not. You're never reaching your end goal. Um, these, these are kind of unrelated thoughts. I'm hoping that you, one day, as always, can string these things together. Well, you weren't far off. I'll, I'll be honest, Poe. But um, there are different elements here that I'd like to discuss. So you must be a new guest, or you're burglaring us. <laughs> I'm Rain, by the way. Pleased to meet you, Sam. Enjoy your stay. Uh, the hot water goes off at nine, by the way. So it's cold showers from there on in. It really bugs me. I was in my room. Praying, actually. I don't believe in God, but I was still praying. It didn't work. My prayer that the girl would be safe. We did a reading, a group reading, actually, with a special tarot deck. The three of us get together and read the same cards. Bronwyn says it makes the whole thing stronger or more powerful or something, but I'm pretty sure I'd get the same answers just on my own. Mercury, it's not exactly from here. Uh, with a normal tarot deck, you'd have the question, so you'd be the querent. With Mercury, it gives you the question and the answer. The cards themselves kind of change. It's a special deck. I don't have it at the moment. Bronwyn has it. I didn't know her. I know she was called Dorota Shaw. She was young, had red hair, a talented musician. Next victim, whoa, <laughs> hold on a sec. We don't even know if there's gonna be a next victim or not. We'll do another group reading soon and then we'll have a better idea. And it's tiny, and it's made of, I think, metal. Mm -hmm. I think it's metal. Mm -hmm. Hi. Sam, is it? Come on in. Make yourself at home. Me casa es su casa. <laughs> Come on. The cards told us to. Well, the cards of rain. Tarot gives us a rough direction and he narrows it down with some astrological jiggery pokery. He's basically a walking esoteric library. And if that sounds dull, let me reassure you, it is. No? Well, yeah. Well, no. We have a job to do. I didn't say job. I said job. Okay, we make a um, cheese obelisk, a chob, and depending on the shape of that chob, we get different answers to questions. <laughs> no, you don't. She's like my big sister, so pretty well. You know the Chief's got it all wrong. Ron could never hurt anyone. But I'm sure a smart detective like you can help prove she's innocent. Really? Because she is completely innocent. I don't know anyone in this town, except for Bronwyn and Rain, obviously, and Violet, and the Chief, and now you. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Good old fashioned fortune telling. Well, kind of. We drew a card each and smushed them all together. Do you know what the most dangerous tarot card is? Everybody thinks that. It's such a cliche. The death card doesn't even mean death. Most of the time. <laughs> the Five of Swords? I think so anyway. 
There's nothing more dangerous than someone taking whatever they want, no matter the cost. Yeah, I did. Rain got the Knight of Wands, that's Dorota, and Bronwyn got the Ten of Swords, which is, well, you know, <laughs> swords in general were bad. I was in my room all night with Bronwyn. We were um, painting our nails. No, I mean, yeah, I've already cleaned it off. There are infinite realities, he said, and we always exist in the one we believe is most true. The roof of the dream time. I assume you've been to see Chief Dupont already. Not really. I'm sure she was a precious lamb, though. Yes, a lamb. Young. Innocent. Lambs get slaughtered, though, don't they? Nice, yes, that's a good description. Actually, I thought she was a bit slutty, to be honest. Sorry. I'm gossiping. I don't want to talk ill of the dead. Ask her boyfriend. Oscar lives at the vicarage next to the church. Don't tell him I sent you, though. I'm sure he's sick of seeing people already. There. Tarot readers. I'm thinking of asking them to leave, actually. Because they may have killed someone. It's not great for my reputation, is it? Stay at Violet's, the home of killers and hobos. I'm sorry, it's a derogatory word, isn't it? But strange people seem to gravitate towards this guest house, Sam. Get the sign changed. It's the strangest thing. I honestly don't remember. But I imagine I was here or getting groceries somewhere. No, and I didn't murder her if that's what you're asking. I take clozapine. I think they're for anxiety. I'm a very anxious person. Also relates to the repression of emotion, and then the drowning actually relates to emotional stress. So, Sam, is it? I'm sensing you're not here for a reading. We saw it in the cards, not images, feelings, impressions. Tarot can be very powerful. Not these cards. They only tell us what they want us to know. Chief Dupont thinks I did it. I'm hoping you'll convince him otherwise. I didn't. We've only been here two days. I understand it's suspicious me being a stranger in town, but it's the truth. There's a lot more at stake here than you know, Sam. Well, if I told you that, you'd have nothing to do. Mercury? Sure. I'll just get it. 
it feels a bit sacrilegious just spreading it out to show you. It doesn't really answer questions, it more asks them. Do you want it to ask you a question, Sam? It wants to know if you're happy being the person you are now. Hmm. Mercury agrees with you. It's nice that you're being honest with me and with yourself. In my room reading, I found a trashy romance novel under the bed. I'm assuming it's Violet's. It's all swooning heroines and brooding vampire Casanovas. Thank God Lexi saved me. She came to my room to chat for a little while. That was around nine, I think. You can ask her. I said the book was trashy. Look at this place. If her guest house is anything to go by, Violet's the opposite of trashy. And I think just just by hearing your words, um, I think Robin can take part and can um, understand um, what's going on. So it's to to that to that um, to the to the sadness. Well, I hope so, Robin. It's six o'clock and you're listening to Radio August. Police investigating the murder of Dorota Shaw are appealing to the community to help catch her killer. The body of 21-year-old Miss Shaw, an accomplished cellist, was found in her home last night. Police are describing the murder as a violent and despicable act. Monroe? It's just terrible. Meanwhile, out of respect for the victim and her family, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced shortly, so do stay tuned to Radio August for updates. I heard Dorota Shaw was due to play this weekend. At the Tulip Festival. Indeed. I understand why they'd want to postpone it. Tonight the weather will be mostly dry and warm, but be on the lookout for dark clouds on the horizon, as there may be scattered showers. Best take an umbrella, Monroe, so you don't get wet. I like getting wet. That's six o'clock with Poe and Monroe. A kitten. Ivan stared at Uni. She circled the kitten's body, stepping over its limp legs. Who are you? Right, because the local police are so rubbish. It's been a day, a whole day. It's typical of them. Yeah, I went round there in the afternoon. Uh, her parents were at work and we were... You know, hanging out. I left at about five. I'm playing football. It's just five aside. Uh, finished at about half nine. I called her, but she never picked up. Not much. They always seemed happy to see me. I don't think they meant it. They wanted Dorota to focus on her music. Not long, a couple of months maybe. We did care for each other. No, no one. She was really popular. What, you mean watching us? That's disturbing. No, no, it couldn't have been. The only place you could have hidden would be in the closet. And I suppose someone could have hidden in the closet. Yeah, it's big enough for two people to have sex in. Or not for us. We shared a few kinks, nothing weird. Yeah, a band from the 60s. I'm not discussing this with you. <sighs> Clothes, mainly. I did see something that freaked me out a bit. She had a wedding dress in there. She knew I'd seen it, but we never talked about it. Not even as a joke. 
until the blood slowed and started to dry. Finally, he shifted onto his knees and lifted the kitten in both hands. Its floppy body barely as big as his palms, he left the towel on the floor. He'd need it to clean up later. He held the kitten against his chest. She flaunts herself, her body, her boudoir photographs taken. Who do you think those photos were for, Sam? Her mother? Ask Zach Weston. He took them. Zach's the local photographer. You should go and talk to him, Sam. You're good at talking. At Weston's photographic, off the high road. It's late, but he's always there. I have a good memory. I'm still holding grudges from when I was four. <laughs> Vicar's son. No, no, as far as I can tell, Oscar is a good boy. But we've all got different faces now, haven't we, Sam? masks we wear. I could be a satanic cultist behind closed doors, but you'd never know, would you, Sam? I fall, but I never hit the water. Now this in particular I think is very interesting. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Poe? Yeah, I think it has several interesting elements to it. Um... Hi Sam, back for more already. Oh, yeah, that's right. All these rooms look the same. Sorry. I was in Bronze Room. Ask her. No, I think Bronwyn met him though. This morning, he only wanted to see her. I guess he didn't want anyone else to hear what he had to say. Elements here that I'd like to discuss. So, firstly, the idea of a circus. Now... She gets easily confused. Youth of today. Fine. Jeeve Dupont was breathing down her neck, so we thought it would be simpler if we stuck together. If these walls weren't separating our rooms, then technically it'd be true. To protect Lexi, none of this is her fault and she gets anxious easily. I was just trying to take the pressure off. I'm, I'm sorry, Sam, I, I never usually lie. I was logged into Tarotasm. It's a phone reading service and I get paid by the minute, which now that I'm saying it, it's not something I really should be bragging about. Yes, he came to see me. He wanted to know that she was okay, spiritually speaking. He confided in me quite a bit, actually. He seemed to appreciate having someone to talk to and he knew I couldn't tell anyone what he said. Oh, Sam, you know I can't do that. Tarot reader client confidentiality. Case. Very good. Thank you for your dreams. Really? Sam, what can I do for you? Birmingham. We couldn't save anyone there either. 
The problem with travelers is... <laughs> well, let's put a pin in this one, Sam. Let me ask Bronwyn. If she says it's okay to talk about it, it's okay to talk about it. We're trying to save people. We didn't. Lexi used a Ouija board to get the name. It's Lexi's thing. I don't personally go near them, but in this case, it did help. No. Lexi needs to give it context from the tarot reading. A lot of the time, it comes up with nothing. Or a sordid comment directed at Lexi. <laughs> I think that's why she keeps using it, to be honest. Once we thought there was going to be a murder, Lexi used the Ouija board to find out the victim's name. It spelled out the rotor. Just... <laughs> this is going to sound weird. Um, most people believe Ouija boards contact the dead. So if Lexi contacts a dead person, that person needs to know what happens in the future. Ergo, maybe the person she's contacting is from the future. A time traveller who died here. Yes. Well, not just time travel, time and space travel is also possible. If we accept the fact there are multiple realities, we must also accept there are others like us who found a way to travel between these realities. To talk about it, I couldn't tell them what had driven me to breaking point, the, the fear of discovery. I didn't. How did you find out? Am I in trouble? Ron was worried about me not having an alibi. She was locked in doing phone readings, so she's alright. But there's nothing to prove that I was here. I was though, cross my heart and hope to die. Traveller? That's a really old role playing game, isn't it? Oh, did he now? Well then, you know what I know. I guess you must be a part of our inner circle. How does it feel? Cheeky. Are you flirting with me? Oh dear, am I blushing again? There's a murder to solve. Maybe you should do that first, then me. No, 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 not like that. <laughs> oh, it's just your run-of-the-mill spirit communication device. Want to know how it works? Cool, okay. So Ouija boards send us messages from the spirit world, right? But where is the spirit world? I mean, there's planets and stars in space. The spirit world must be really far away beyond all that. With so far to travel, messages from the spirit world must take ages to get here. Like how light from the sun takes eight minutes or something to reach us. You still with me? Ah, oh, you're sweet. Um, where was I? Oh, so here's my point. The spirit world is actually several hours ahead of us. That's how we get messages about things that haven't happened yet. That's how we got Dorota's name. Because in the spirit world, she was already dead. <sighs> I know, mind blowing. In anticipation, a couple walk on the other side of the street engrossed. I sense he has slipped into the dark of a doorway. The distraction passes. It's seven o'clock and here's the latest August update. Chief DuPont of August Police is urging residents to be vigilant tonight following the brutal murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Whilst he stresses there is no immediate threat to the community at large, residents should be on the lookout until the killer is in police custody. Miss Shaw was found strangled in her bedroom home last night. Poe, I heard she was found by her mother. Truly awful. 
Mother caught me up to all sorts of mischief in my bedroom. Also in the news, emergency services were called to the crossroads at Grange Avenue and Church Street following a collision between two cars. There are no reports of any serious injuries, but you might want to take a different route for now. Oh, no. It's going to be one of those nights, Poe. Stay with me, doll. I'll keep you safe. I'm not going anywhere. That's seven o'clock with Poe and Monroe. That it was futile. I've had to cut myself off from any close relationships if I wanted to have any kind of worthwhile life. Sorry, we're closed. Come back tomorrow or make an appointment online. Yes, uh, what do you want? The Shores. Oh, you mean that girl who got killed? What was her name? Uh, Dorothy? I see a lot of faces in my studio, but I'm not good with names. Wait, Dorota, Dorota, I remember now. For the August Chronicle, uh, she won some sort of award. I remember her cello, it kept reflecting the flash and ruining the shot. No, I went to her house, along with the reporter. It's better with these human interest stories to capture them in a natural habitat. Nisha was a reporter. She can confirm all this. No, actually, I've been running a special offer on portraits since she came in for a studio session. Wait there. You can see those photos here. They're on the cello. Yeah. Now this one's in colour. Beautiful hair. Oh, legs wrapped around. <laughs> Another one here. Oh, hang on. Do you see what I see? Nothing. She's just a very attractive girl. That's all. What do you mean? I don't think I like what you're implying, detective. Is that all? Friends? Yes. I know Violet very well. Violet takes it very well, actually. I like him like that. With a frosty exterior comes a soft, warm centre. I'm sorry my analogy wasn't explicit enough for you. Yes, we have sex. Here. I'm usually here most nights. I live here, detective. Long story short, I'm divorced. My wife got the house, my business is all I have left. My hands seize him with strength many times my own. My right hand crushes his larynx. If you have anything else on Zach Weston, let me know. And I'm all for a good boudoir picture, but who are they for? There's definitely a strong connection between those two there. Well, unless they were for Oscar, I don't know. Unless there's someone else about to come out of the woodwork. That's what he says, but no one can back him up. He's on my radar now. I, I think you're supposed to tell me that. If he was taking photos of Dorota, maybe he fell for her? 
and the feeling wasn't mutual. Artists have muses, apparently. Wish I had one. The night, time to... No? Who's that? Never heard of him. Who what? Who do I photos? She sent some private photos to me by foot. Do you mean them? I get it now. That's why you're asking about Zach Weston. Maybe I should pay him a visit. By the time the night bus arrives, the high has passed, leaving me drained and depressed. And as I think about the weeks ahead of me, the paranoid wait to see if they're going to catch me this time, I pay the driver. Ugh, do we really have to? How vulgar, yes. I suppose that is what he'd say, but I've never let him lay a finger on me. He says we're in a relationship, but he doesn't act like it. He thinks he's irresistible to women. No. I can see no end to it. I know I can't resist the Slayer's needs, and I have no idea how long. Hi, I'm. <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. Deep shadow beneath the broken street lamp lay the bodies of two young men. You're listening to Radio August. Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. I love you, she said. Then she cut off her face and a lot of effort with the butter knife, alternately plunging and trying to saw. A curtain of chin caught her still smiling mouth as part of her head tipped forward and free. Well, hello, gorgeous. I came over last night, but you weren't here. Did you hear about Dorota? I came over last night. Well, that explains why there was no answer when I called you. I was definitely here. Did you hear? Everyone in town's heard. She's a local celebrity now. Local celebrity? Were you sleeping with her? Violet? Of course not. I only have eyes for you. That's not what I heard. This again. I told you, I'm not seeing anyone else. I have gorgeous women in my studio all the time, but you're special. Not because you won't take off your clothes, I'm expecting that at some point, it's just... You're so clever and well-educated. And the icing on the cake. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever met. 
the bag lady. If it moved on, maybe escape was possible, but it just floated in the middle of the empty room, eerily silent. The vacant penthouse had a hallucinatory quality, dimly lit in blue, Hello, I'm Rain. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. Okay. Lady floating as if suspended in currents of unseen water. You have a lovely guest house. It is quaint, isn't it? It's all my parents had when they died. We are literally sitting in my inheritance. How did your parents die? Father died first. Heart attack. They found him in the freezer when mother died. She had a pulmonary embolism. I didn't really talk to them much. Freezer? Yes. She kept him in the chest freezer because she didn't want to be alone. It stored him perfectly. I still use it today. Playing with the images and thoughts all called from its victims. There it floated, and then it turned to face me. Run or